Windows 10 officially released several days ago, so we'll upgrade Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview to the official release of Windows 10. First thing you do is you go to this website. I'll leave a link in the description because we need this software download tool. This download tool, unfortunately, we need it because there is this program that upgrades our Windows 10 preview to Windows 10. So before we do that, we want to search for this PC, right click and hit properties because we want to know which system type we are on. 64-bit operating system is for me. So we'll take the 64-bit download tool. Click on the download tool for your appropriate system type and you can just click on the download executable once it's done. So the file itself is pretty small and then you just click on the file. Now for Windows 7 and Windows 8 the upgrade steps are slightly different. You need to do reservation of Windows 10 and the opportunity to get Windows 10 is about a year to get it for free. The program will open and I highly recommend you to choose the upgrade option instead of getting clean install because for the clean install, you need to record your product key and a lot of you, including myself, don't have the original product key. So if you choose the upgrade option, you don't have to worry about the product key and you'll have a fully activated Windows 10. So I just skipped ahead and there are a lot of steps to this process. It will have to prepare for the Windows 10 upgrade and then it will have to get updates. And each of these takes about 10 minutes or so each. If you're upgrading from Windows 7 or Windows 8, it'll take even longer. Now afterwards, you'll accept this terms of agreement and then it'll install Windows 10. It will first restart your computer and you'll just have to do a lot of waiting. For Windows 7 and Windows 8 users, the wait period is could be as much as three hours. But as for Windows 10, I only had to wait about an hour for the full upgrade. You'll see this window once the computer restarts. And this is the longest window you'll see. It will take a very long time. So do something else while you wait. But once it's finished, you can just go through the prompts. For these settings, you will have to set your these settings again if you've already done it for Windows Preview. And I like to put location off. I like to turn these settings off because I don't want to connect to random hotspots. And I, lo I don't actually want to send Microsoft my errors because um, I just don't. So for with these default applications, I usually turn these default applications off because I usually use my own programs for these default applications, but then you just hit next and then it finalizes the steps. So it's pretty quick for Windows 10. As I said, 30 minutes or in up to an hour compared to three hours is definitely fast compared to, you know, those three hours. Last but not least, it'll do a setup after you sign in to your Microsoft account. And you just wait for a couple minutes because we're almost finally done. And then you'll get to have your Windows 10 activated full version if you did the upgrade properly. Now, last but not least, we will check settings, go to activation, and we will search for if Windows 10 is activated or not. So click on activation and I'll zoom in for you and see that after upgrading Windows 10 from preview, it has successfully upgraded to Windows 10 Pro and Windows is activated. You won't see the Windows 10 preview at the bottom right of your screen anymore. 